It's, it was good last year. It was a great turnout. Uh, my first time doing it, putting something together. It was a great experience. Uh, good having all the guys back together, and the fans loved it. It was a sold-out event. Uh, hopefully, it will be the same this year. How hard is it to get guys to come back? <laughs> it was harder than I yeah. thought it was, yeah. But I think the guys did a real good job of, of committing to it. You know, we only had about three people that dropped out. Uh, I think it was Mike Ganzi and Pat Beeline dropped out last year, but they committed again this year. So hopefully we can get some, some new guys in and you know, just have a lot of fun like we did last year. Did you learn anything from that? Did you tweak anything? Any different approach this year? To oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we... Well, my team, we, we basically just sent out an email to everyone who bought tickets online and said, what did you, what did you guys like? What did you what you guys didn't like? And it wasn't too many complaints. Uh, it's just uh, a couple things that we can just fix, you know. What, what caused you to do this? What made you, what prompted you to come up with this? <clears throat> um, I was just thinking, like, all the guys are back in town. Uh, I know me and Deshaun were just sitting around talking about it, and it's like, well, I'm, why don't we just do it, you know what I mean? So uh, Deshaun has really helped me a lot. Uh, Coach Harrison has helped me a lot. And hugs, all the stuff. Uh, we just, we all, we all come back anyway during the summer. A lot of guys live here, you know what I mean. So why not just get everybody back? And most of the guys that are here over the summer are just from the Final Four team and stuff like that. So I know a lot of people want to see see that, you know. And I like learning about past experiences of uh, West Virginia players that used to play here before, you know what I mean. So uh, it's a good time. We're gonna. We're going to try to get like a live radio show on Friday, the night before the game, and just sit down and talk like a, you know, like at a bar or something and let everyone hear how it was playing when they used to play. And, you know, we got guys from like Daryl Pru and Herbie Brooks. And I like hearing the stories, man, just the stories. You touched on that. You had them last year. Any new names coming this year from the older generation? Um, so far, we got Pat Beeline, uh, Marcus Gorey. And uh, Mike Ganzi committed. Uh, I'm looking for pit snogger. If anyone has seen him, <laughs> he's hibernating. But uh, I'm looking for. Him. I would love to have him back. Huh? He'd bring some people out. Yeah, for sure. He needs <laughs> some tips on radio shows. I know a guy standing here that does a pretty good radio show. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Guy back here standing back here in the hallway. Oh, okay. Hugs. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, we, I talked to Tony Carey about yeah. doing that. Uh, he said he might be able to do it. Uh, he won't be able to MC the game this year. This is. Uh, I think it's 30th wedding anniversary or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, can't, can't skip that. Uh, I didn't even recognize you. <laughs> this, this, this has become kind of like a second home to you, hadn't it? Yeah, for real. I mean, I love I love it here. Just, uh, I love to see Morgantown growing as it, it, as it is. Uh, every time I come back, it's something new, you know what I mean? And I get to come back and see, see the players, work out with them, and, you know, work out myself, you know what I mean, and to do what I do. You know, I still play basketball overseas and stuff, so... I mean, I just love it here. The last thing about that, you know, Dave Tallman, I'm sure that's a big help, too, having him over there to do this. Coach Tallman is a, a big – I probably wouldn't be able to – last year, probably wouldn't be able to go down without him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, him and his family helped out a lot. Uh, and they, they won the state championship this year, so he's doing real good out here, too. I mean, it's great to have him here, him being, I mean, my high school coach from yeah. Maryland and stuff. So it's, it's just great having him out here. What about this here, this facility here? That's a pretty nice place to work out in the summertime. Isn't oh, yeah. I wish I wish we would have had it when I was there. I probably would have slept in here. I probably would have made a bed and just kept my check and all my rent. What do you, what do you, Joe Alexander <laughs> slept in the call. See if you oh, could have yeah, done did, with him? Yeah, he definitely did. But, you know, he was crazy. <laughs> Hopefully we can get him back, too. Uh, yeah, but he definitely he used to sleep in there, too. You know, when we get together, it's, it's always a fun time. So, I mean... We definitely uh, recollect on we recollect on most of the things that happen off the court and on the court. You know what I mean? Just you know everyday things that just went on. Like I can't even explain right now. But you said losing them. I mean, that was such a successful team. You, you hear that a lot from guys. You seem to remember the losses more than yeah. the wins sometimes. It's more of a like, man, we should have won that game. You know what I mean? Or if this would have happened, we would have won. So, but we, we definitely remember. We remember more of the, most of the things that happen off the court more than on the court. It's like being a citizen of the world. A citizen of the world. Yeah, I mean, you're here or there, here the one year, there the next year. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's a great experience. Uh, just learning the different languages and the different cultures and seeing all of Europe and all of the world, basically. Uh, I think uh, my first year when I went out in Japan, for the, that was my first time out of the country ever. 
and that really was a culture shock. That really helped me out to to be prepared for anything, <laughs> any other country, I think. So. You like paying hundred dollars for a steak? For a steak? <laughs> nah, no, it's, it's not. It's not too bad. You make it back on the taxes, though. Yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. What about Europe? What was your, that's obviously a different experience. They've had some issues over there with terrorism and stuff, so that's, yeah. you know, that's... Yeah, uh, it was a terrorist attack in Paris. Yeah. I played in Germany this past year, but, I mean, it's not it's not too bad. You know, I don't worry. You can't live life worrying about what's going to happen. You know, anything can happen. I learned from hugs. I mean, when it's time to go, it's time to go. <laughs> As he said on a... a Bumpy plane ride one one time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I you mean, probably felt good though. You were riding with him. They're not gonna take him, right? I almost passed out saying my, my prayers and everything. Man. But uh, I mean, it's, it's it's definitely a great experience to play overseas. You run on any guys? Uh, Rue off anybody like that? Uh, I played against Deshaun. Okay. Uh, this year, uh, they won one. We won one. Uh, I killed him. <laughs> um, last year I played against KJ in France, played against Deshaun in France. I got to see Alex play Deshaun this year, so we I, we hung out afterwards, had a couple drinks, and yeah. brought Morgantown to, to Germany. <laughs> brought Morgantown to Germany? Yeah, it's, it's cool. John, they say that a person's life is made up from the decisions that they make throughout the course of it. When you were a high school senior, you had the opportunity to almost kind of change your mind and, and maybe think about another school when, when they switch from Coach Beeline to, to, to Coach Hugs. What was that, you kind of thinking back at that time of your life, what was, you know, what was going through your mind at that point? Uh, probably a lot of nerves and, yeah. and, and unsure of what was going to happen at right. that point. Well, good thing my mother was there to, to help kind of guide me through that stuff because she was an All-American basketball player. She went through everything and she, she loved Hugs when he came to visit the house. Um, basically, I was just thinking, uh, did Hugs want me? You know what I mean? And, and he wanted me. But when I came on my visit, it was so much love from the, the fans and the people here. And that's, they they basically sold me. You know what I mean? It was a, the fans and the, the teammates. Were, it was like a camarader the camaraderie that we all had it was, it was great. And man, they showed so much love on my visit. So that's basically what kept me in. It was like a, a week or so in between. The change, the coaching changes. Did you ever think about, you know, looking at other schools during the, during that yeah, time? Yeah, I was, I was thinking about going with Beeline. Uh, Hugs didn't call oh. me at first. He didn't, <laughs> call <me>. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't call me at first, but uh, he called me after he settled in. We, you know, he called, gave me a call, yeah. and said, "Yeah, we still want you to come." And it's not going to be easy. I don't know what Beeline promised you, but right. <laughs> got our new spot. I, I knew that, but that's what I was looking for. Yeah, yeah. almost the Wolverine, huh? <laughs> Not quite, huh? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. If he didn't call it, I probably would be a little bit. Hmm. The worst day ever. <laughs>